Whether you're relaxing at home or away on a trip, your baby will have their own special place with the Baby Trend Deluxe Nursery Center. When used with the included play yard, the close and cozy bassinet fastens to any bed so you can enjoy a restful night's sleep with your baby right beside you. The bassinet can also be removed for freestanding use and features side pocket storage for all your baby care necessities. The play yard is loaded with features for the baby and features that makes life easier for mom and dad. The flip away changing table can be readied in an instant and the large wheels with brakes with the one hand locking mechanism makes moving the play yard a snap as does the included travel and storage tote bag. And whether it's resting or playtime, the integrated electronic music center is sure to please with nature sounds, two styles of music, and an MP3 player input. It also has a night light and a vibration function to help soothe fussy babies to sleep. Your baby deserves a great place to rest and play, and you deserve a quality product that's easy to set up and to use. That's why Baby Trend is offering this video instruction guide, or VIG, to help you with the setup. From opening the box to your baby's first nap, the VIG will guide you every step of the way. Now, let's get started. Welcome to the Deluxe Nursery Center Video Instruction Guide, or VIG. We are going to show you how to set up and use this product. The VIG shows you all the parts included in the box and an easy-to-follow step-by-step process for assembling your Deluxe Nursery Center. The VIG steps you through the process for putting the item together from opening the box to the finished product. Your Deluxe Nursery Center will be ready to use in your nursery, bedroom, or family room and you will avoid the frustration most parents encounter when assembling a large furniture item out of the box. Please note the following important precaution. Never leave your infant in the nursery center or close and cozy bassinet unlocked or with the sides down. For maximum safety, you should not use the play yard for your child once the child is able to climb out or has reached the height of 35 inches or 30 pounds, whichever comes first. You should not use the close and cozy bassinet or the bassinet feature of the play yard once your child begins to push up on hands and knees, even before crawling, or has reached the height of 25 inches or weight of 15 pounds or 4 months old, whichever comes first. Welcome to the What's Inside and Setup Tools segment for the Deluxe Nursery Center. In this VIG, you will see what is included in the box, how it is used during the setup of the product, and what, if any, tools you will need to complete the assembly. Open the Nursery Center box along the top edge. In the box, you should have one play yard, one bassinet, one mattress, two male metal support tubes, two female metal support tubes, one travel storage bag, two long curved bars, two short bars with connector knobs, one changing table, and one music center, one soft cover, one side basket, optional, one strap set, two mattress support bars, two lower front and two back bars, one center crossbar, one upper back bar, one upper left frame, one upper right frame, one right side frame, one left side frame, four legs, and four screws. You will need a small Phillips head screwdriver, a standard Phillips head screwdriver, and four AA batteries to complete assembly. Welcome! This segment will show you how to assemble the main play yard of the nursery center. First, unzip the carry bag for the nursery center play yard and remove the play yard from the bag. Undo the three fasten straps and set the mattress and other parts and contents aside. Unfold the open of the play yard with the legs pointing down to floor. Do not push the center of the floor of the play yard down yet. You must fully erect the top rails and lock them into place before lowering the center. Pull up one rail at a time, with one hand on each side of the rail center, 
and pull up sharply on the rail to lock it into position. Here is an important note. Keep the center of the play yard floor raised while locking the rails. If all of the rails don't lock, then release the latch and try again. Once all of the four top rails are locked in place, then push down on the center handle. The center mechanism will automatically lock into place. Now you can place the mattress on the floor of the play yard with the padded side facing up. Next, insert the three Velcro straps located under the mattress through the slots in the floor of the play yard. Fasten the hook and loop straps so the mattress won't move and pose a hazard to your baby. The play yard comes with two wheels to make it easy to move from room to room. To operate the brakes on the wheels, press downward on the brake levers. This will help keep the play yard stable during setup and is also for the protection of your child. When you are ready to release the brakes, lift upward on the brake lever with your toe or your hand. Welcome! This segment will show you how to fold up or collapse the play yard. First, you need to release the three Velcro straps that are securing the mattress pad to the underside of the floor of the play yard. Release the Velcro and bring the straps back through the slot in the floor of the play yard. Then remove the mattress from the floor and set the mattress aside on the floor, opened up with the padded side facing up. Do not unlock the top rails yet, keep them locked. Next, raise the center floor by rotating the center handle counterclockwise 90 degrees and pulling up on the handle to release the center as high as the top rails. Gather the legs and wheels together toward the center as close as possible so that they nearly touch. Locate the top rail latch release in the center mechanism of each rail and press up on the underside of the mechanism to release the rail lock, squeezing it with two hands. Once the two sides of the rail are released, push down on the sides so the center goes down. Do not force the top rails if they are not released completely. Just lift the center floor higher until you can fold the top rail. Gather the four corners of the play yard and center all together tightly and place it in the center of the mattress with the padded side facing up. Wrap the mattress around the play yard frame with the padded side facing inward and secure the mattress with the three hook and loop straps by feeding them through the loops on the end of the mattress and folding them back onto themselves to secure. Place a folded play yard into the bag, but make sure that the handles are showing out of the cutouts for easy carrying. Welcome! This segment will show you how to assemble the bassinet. Note, do not use the bassinet feature until the play yard is fully assembled and secured. The bassinet is safe for children up to 4 months old, less than 25 inches and 15 pounds. First, fully set up the play yard following the steps in segment 3 of the VIG and make sure all of the rails are securely locked into place. The mattress will be used in the bassinet instead of the bottom of the play yard, so if it was already installed and in use, remove the mattress now and set aside. Place the bassinet over and down into the play yard aligning the plastic support clips at the top of the bassinet sides over the tops of the rails of the play yard walls. Secure the bassinet in place by pushing down on each of the plastic support clips until each has snapped into place over the top rails. Assemble the two mattress support tubes by connecting the open-ended male and female tube ends to each other in the middle. The closed tube ends will be on the ends of the assembled tubes. Then insert the assembled tubes into the loops on each side of the bottom of the bassinet. You can also first insert the closed end of the tubes into the slots on the bottom of the bassinet before putting the male and female ends together. Once each end is inserted into a slot, then raise the middle ends of the tubes slanted toward each other in the middle keeping the other ends in the slots. Fit the male and female ends together and straighten out the tubes into place at the bottom of the bassinet floor. Finally, place the mattress into the bassinet with the padded side facing upward. Fasten the tabs on the mattress to secure it in place. 
To remove the bassinet from the play yard, first move the mattress from the bassinet. Remove the mattress support tubes if you want to fold up the bassinet compactly. Then unsnap the plastic clip secured over the top rail of the play yard and lift up to remove the bassinet. Note, you should not use the bassinet feature of the play yard once your child begins to push up on hands and knees, even before crawling, or has reached the height of 25 inches or weight of 15 pounds or 4 months old, whichever comes first.